So whenever we first started the galley rebuild, we ended up trying to decide what type of faucets we wanted. And during the decision process, we decided we wanted to install a manual pump. And the manual pump that we ultimately decide on was the Whale Mark VI manual pump. And really liked the design because it was small and had a small footprint. And it had a lot of, it had a really good uh, output, water output. So ended up getting the pump, installed it, but I never got the plumbing finished because I had to, uh, I was going to run off of one of the through halls up forward that I was going to use for the wash down. I had never had a chance to get that set up. So when I did finally get it set up and I used it, it was about a year later and the pump started leaking water uh, right here on the shaft and I thought, oh well, okay, it's been sitting for a while. Oh, rings may have dried up. No big deal. I'll just order a rebuild kit and put it back together and way we'll go. Well I rebuilt it with the rebuild kit I got and it was still had the same problem. So I started looking online and come to find out these pumps apparently have issues with that. Some individuals just ignore it. Um, the problem with us is Emily really didn't want any water leaking onto our galley top for obvious reasons. So we ended up started looking around no one really had an uh, answer on how to fix it until I did come across one person online that ended up placing another o-ring on the top part of where the shaft goes into the housing and so I just wanted to show you where that is and if you do have the problem with uh, the Mark 5's and the Mark 6's leaking uh, I'll show you where to put the extra o-ring in it more or less solve the problem for us and as you can tell I decided to so that I didn't end up losing them at a later date I put two here at the top of the shaft so that it's easy to find if I do ever have to rebuild it so you have the main shaft here there's an o-ring here it's beveled that piece goes here down into the groove as you could probably see so we'll place that and then the o-ring that I got I had a bin so I'm not really sure what size exactly it is all I know is when you place the o-ring on you want it to be pretty snug kinda like these ones so you'll slide this and so this o-ring this is the one that does not come with the rebuild kit or come from the factory. Um, you're going to place this O-ring on the shaft, but make sure it's underneath this cap. This cap fits onto the body. So I'm going to place this O-ring right on here, just like that. It's best if you kind of slide it up towards the top. There we go, just like that. And remember, this flange, the flange part of this O-ring that comes with the kit and comes with the pump that stays down. Just like that. And then this O-ring here, as this shaft slides on, it's just going to sit right on top. And this top collar helps to press it down on top of the original gasket. So as you can see, that's going to go right down on there. It's going to sit right on top of the original gasket. And this top piece, this top cap, has a little cutout. If you look on the nozzle side, there's a small cutout where it actually fits into. So you just line that up, press down. And with that extra O-ring, it might be a little tighter, but it does fit. And you might hear it make a little snap. That just means it's locking into place. So, and it really isn't much harder to move back and forth. And with my test, it did the job. Now for the rest of the installation, now that I've taken this thing apart a million times, it's pretty easy. 
Uh, if you look inside, as you move the shaft back and forth, it's probably hard to see. There we go. But it's um, the shaft as you move back and forth, the piece inside moves around. So if you just get that halfway centered up right in the middle, and then you can take this, the bottom piece, and then get that back in and you know it's in the middle and then just kind of hold it down the hard parts just getting it lined up just right and you might have to move the shaft down get this initial there we go and once you get it halfway straight then you'll be able to turn the shaft you just want to make sure you don't cross thread it and if you look at it and it looks like it's uneven you'll be able to tell so I can tell that it's starting to grab. There we go. You just really want to make sure that it's feeding on straight because you don't want to cross thread. The threads are just plastic on this bottom end piece. And it doesn't have to be really that tight. A um, pair of small needle nose actually fit just on each side. There's sets of fins and you can just more or less use that just to hold it in place on the shaft and then just turn the shaft. Like I said, it doesn't really have to be that tight. And then you've got your final bottom piece. You probably have to pull the shaft up, otherwise it'll press on the bottom of this because the shaft end will actually protrude down on top of this. So pull the shaft up just a little bit, feed this on, and then you could take a wrench and slightly tighten same thing it doesn't need to be terribly tight and tighten it up and away you go and if you do have to change that o-ring like I said I've got a, a set of them here that way on I don't have to go digging around for a o-ring somewhere buried in the boat and that way I know exactly where they're at and which size will actually fit so that's all. Good luck. Hopefully that'll fix the problem for you. I know it, it uh, definitely uh, did the trick for me.